It's going to be kind of nice, uh, 8 gig, I think. Yeah. Well, we finally decided to leave camp. Yeah. And we're, we're trekking out. See what we can uh, find. Do a bit of exploring. Stretch the legs. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what Peter found that. Oh, no, Rick yeah. found it, I think. Peter, what are these then? I think they're a, a member of the Agaricus. They're edible, <laughs> but I'm, I'm not sure You may only try that once. <laughs> this is mug work. You can use it as an incense. Um, you put it in your shoes, keep your feet sort of fresh, but the reason why it's called mugwort is they used to use it for flavouring beer. Yeah. It's a member of the Artemisia family. Um, one member of the Artemisia family you'll find in absinthe, Ooh. and that's wormwood. Well, this one here you need to be aware of. That's Deadly Nightshade, which, as the name suggests, can be very toxic. A little purple flower with a yellow sort of bit in the middle. Use it in your cooking and what have you. Um, when the flower head's died off, you dip it in some fat and you've got yourself a nice candle. But the stalk itself you can use for pan drill. It's quite a stuff, I mean if, in a minute if you just feel how tough that handle is, that um, stem is, it's quite a quite a strong stem. What's that called? Mullen. 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 Yeah. M-U-L-L-E-I-N. Might have an E on the end of it. I'll have a look at my uh, a lot of look at all these blackberries. Yeah, and they're actually quite thousands of them. Mmm. I have to make a blackberry pie tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Back at you. <laughs> Back at you. But anyway, we've got there's some more wild edibles here. Bam, bam. Hear them screaming. What's that good then? That's just our supplies being dropped into camp. <laughs> We've just come across this break in the fence and we found a bit of a hair on the uh, on the fence and it looks like it's badger. So it's coming through there and you can see there that the run runs all the way down and it runs along the fence line and then there's a there's another one of these further up. So uh, we're thinking that's a little badger run. Some elderberries there. Quite tasty. Hmm. Very nice. So when the gypsy roll, you, you dig out, dig any area out, you put the pan in, yeah. it just overfills. Yeah, yeah. Get rid of the gypsy rolls, don't you get rid of about the first four yeah, cupfuls or something? I never yeah. remember. There we go. Thank you. Oh.
Here's a little handy tip. Tobacco packs. Waterproof. And they've got a little seal. Put all your tinder in. And then just uh, lock it up. Stick it in your pocket. Dry tinder. Just come across a well trodden trail here. Sandy's just pointed out. Just there. A deer slot. All the way along. And if you keep going down there. Oh! <laughs> Another cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> what we found a very rare fungi here. It's um, I'm going to send this up to the Natural History Museum. It's a glowing in the dark type. Um, the actual the head itself is quite fragile. It's almost made of glass, you would say, cool. and almost uh, the stipe, as you can see, is long and brass coloured. Now, what you have to be careful of is you cannot eat these. Uh, Peter, can you please tell me what wattage is that bulb? Uh, Bulbous <laughs> aluminous. Probably a five watt bulb. <laughs> um, I sort of study this ones that I can eat, mm. but that's a funny one. I've never very seen very of similar to a stagthorn. Stagthorn tends to be longer and on pine stumps, but it's not something you would. Oh,